are you ready to learn with Miss Kay? Today we are going to read the story of From Head to Toe by Eric Carle. Let's go! From Head to Toe by Eric Carle. I am a penguin and I turn my head. Can you do it? I can do it. This is a penguin. Can you turn your head like a penguin? Penguin. I am a giraffe and I bend my neck. Can you do it? I can do it. This animal is a giraffe. It's a giraffe. Can you bend your neck like a giraffe? Wow, amazing. I am a buffalo and I raise my shoulders. Can you do it? I can do it. This animal is a buffalo. Buffalo. Can you raise your shoulders like a buffalo? Yes? Great job! I am a monkey and I wave my arms. Can you do it? I can do it! This is a monkey. And a monkey waves its arms. Can you wave your arms like a monkey? Wave, wave, wave. I am a seal and I clap my hands. Can you do it? I can do it. This is a seal. Can you clap your hands like a seal? Seal. I am a gorilla and I thump my chest. Can you do it? I can do it. This is a gorilla. Gorilla. Can you thump your chest like a gorilla? Very good! I am a cat and I arch my back. Can you do it? I can do it! This is a cat. Can you arch your back like a cat? Yes? Very good! I am a crocodile and I wriggle my hips. Can you do it? I can do it. This is a crocodile. Crocodile. Can you wriggle your hips like a crocodile? I am a camel and I bend my knees. Can you do it? I can do it. This is a camel, a camel. Can you bend your knees like a camel? I am a donkey and I kick my legs. Can you do it? I can do it. This is a donkey, a donkey. Can you kick your legs like a Donkey, let me see. Wow, great effort. I am an elephant and I stomp my foot. Can you do it? This is an elephant. Can you stomp your foot like an elephant?
I am, I and I wiggle my toe. Can you do it? I can do it! I can do it! Can you wiggle your toe like the little boy? Yes! The end! And that's the story of From Head to Toe by Eric Carle. Miss Kay, today we're going to read another story about animals. We are going to read One, Two, Three to the Zoo, a counting book by Eric Carle. Have you been to a zoo? I love going to a zoo. It says here a counting book, therefore, you have to help Miss K count later. Are you ready? Let's go and start reading. One, two, three, to the zoo, a counting book by Eric Carl. <coughs> whoa, whoa, what sound is that? It says choo 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 choo. What is making that sound? It's a train. So this is our train driver and the train driver is driving lots of trailers and each trailer holds a special animal let's find out what those animals are <coughs> whoa the first trailer has this animal what is this animal let's listen to the sound what animal makes that sound and looks like this this is an Elephant! Can we count how many elephants we have here? There is only one elephant. That's why the number here is one. Say it, one. Can you show number one using your finger? One. The next trailer has... What animals are these? These are... Hippopotamus! Hippopotamus! How many hippopotamus do we have in this trailer? Let's count. One, two. We have two hippopotamus. That's why our number here is number two. Say two. Two. Can you show number two using your fingers? Two. The next trailer has... What animal is this? This is a, it has a long neck. It's a giraffe. Yes, it's a giraffe. Let's count how many giraffes we have in this trailer. One, two, three. There are three giraffes. That's why our number here is number three. Let's show number three using your fingers. Three. The fourth trailer has... <gasps> Whoa! This animal makes a... Roaring sound! Roar! Roar! What animal is this? Can you tell Miss Kay? This is a... Lion! Lion! Let's count how many lions we have here. Ready? One two three four there are four lions say four can you show number four using your fingers four the fifth trailer has what animal is this hmm, let's listen to the sound it makes these animals are Bear! Yes, these are bears. Let's count how many bears do we have in this trailer. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. There are five bears. Can you please say five? Let's use our hand to show number five. Five. Whoa! Another animals! What animals are these? These are crocodiles, crocodiles, like in the song, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! Let's count how many crocodiles we have here. Are you ready? One, two, 
three, four, five, six. There are six crocodiles in this trailer. Say six. Six. Let's use our hands to show number six. Six. The next trailer has... What animal is this? These animals are... Seals. These are seals. Can you please say seal? Seal. Let's count how many seals do we have in this trailer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven seals. There are seven seals in this trailer. Say seven. Seven. Show number seven using your hands. Seven. Next, these animals are monkeys. Monkeys. And the monkeys make this kind of sound. <laughs> Let's start counting on this side first. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many monkeys do we have in this trailer? There are eight monkeys. Can you please say eight? Eight. Monkeys. Monkeys. So show number eight using your hand. Eight. Ooh, what are these? Let's listen. They make a hiss. Sound. What animals make a hissing sound? Snake. Very good. All of these are snakes. Can you please say snake? Snake. Let's count how many snakes there are here. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine snakes. Can you please show nine using your fingers? Nine. Hmm, let's see the next trailer. Wow, do you know what these are? These are all types of birds. These are all types of birds. Let's count how many birds we have here. Are you ready? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many birds do we have here? There are ten birds. Show number ten using your hands. Ten. And oh, finally, all of the animals that we have counted are in the zoo. So we have counted from one to ten. Let's try counting again from one to ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The end. And that's the story of the one, two, three to the zoo, a counting book by Eric Carl. I enjoyed counting with you. Thank you so much for helping Miss Kate today. Hi kids, are you ready to learn with Miss Kate? Today we're going to read another story about an animal that says quack quack quack. Do you know what animal says quack quack quack? It is a dog. A dog says quack quack quack. We are going to read a story of 10 Little Rubber Dogs by Eric Carl. I'm so excited. So come on and let's start. 10 Little Rubber Dogs by Eric Carl. Chuggity chuggity chock goes the rubber duck machine. Out pop. Little yellow rubber ducks, one after the other, one after the other. Can you point to me where the little rubber ducks are? There goes our little rubber ducks. The little rubber ducks are painted. Bills red and eyes blue. Do you know where the bill of the duck is? This is the bill of the duck. What color did they paint the bill of the dog? They painted it red. How about the eyes? What color did they use to paint the eyes? 
its color blue. Yes, its color blue. Then they are packed. Ten to a. What is this? It's a box. They pack the rubber ducks inside a box. And off they go. Driving, driving, driving. Where are the rubber ducks going? Let's find out. To be loaded onto a cargo ship. So our little rubber ducks are inside a box. And now they're going to be loaded onto a cargo ship. Look at the ship. It's so big. Can you say so big? Hello? Calls the captain. Do you know where the captain is? The captain is right there. The captain says hello. So let's wave hello to the captain. Hello, captain. The captain and his cargo ship are taking the little rubber ducks across the wide sea to far away countries. To far away countries. What is this? It's a wide sea. It's a wide sea. How about this? We call this a sun. This is a sun. Suddenly, a storm turns the water into big waves. Oh no! A strong wind Whistles across the sea, whistles across the sea, up, down, up, down. A big wave lifts up one of the boxes and throws it into the water. The box opens and ten little rubber ducks fall out. Ten rubber ducks overboard, shouts the captain. Ten rubber ducks overboard! Oh no! What's gonna happen with our ten little rubber ducks? Let's find out. After some time, the storm calms down. The ten little rubber ducks bob in the big wide sea. Can we please say big wide? The sea is big. And the sea is wide. As far as one can see, only water and sky, water and sky. The ten little rubber ducks begin to drift apart. How many rubber ducks do we have here? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. There are ten little rubber ducks. Can you please show ten using your fingers? Ten. The first little rubber duck drifts west. A dolphin jumps over it. What is this? This is a dolphin. Dolphin. This is a dolphin. The second little rubber duck drifts east. A seal barks at it. This is a seal. This is a seal. Can you please say seal? The third little rubber duck drifts north. A polar bear growls at it. What is this? This is a polar bear this is a polar bear the fourth little rubber duck drifts south a flamingo stares at it what is this it is a flamingo hi flamingo the fifth little rubber duck drifts to the left a pelican chatters at it this is a Pelican. Say pelican. Pelican. The sixth little rubber duck drifts to the right. 
A. Who can tell me what this is? A turtle glides past it. This is a turtle. Turtle. The seventh little rubber dog drifts up. Can you please say up? Up. An octopus blinks at it. Let's say octopus. 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 The eighth little rubber duck drifts down. A seagull screeches at it. Hi, seagull. Seagull. <gasps> Whoa, what is this? This is such a very big animal, don't you think so? Let's find out what's going to happen with our ninth little rubber duck. The ninth little rubber duck drifts this way. Oh, do you know what animal this is? This is a whale. A whale sings to it. The whale is so big. How many little rubber ducks do we still have? There's only one little rubber duck left. The tenth little rubber duck drifts that way, bobbing and floating on the big wide sea. The sun is setting. It is getting dark. As far as one can see, only water and sky, water and sky. Where is our tenth little rubber duck? Our tenth little rubber duck is right there. What's going to happen with our tenth little rubber duck? The next morning, the tenth little rubber duck meets a mother duck and her ducklings. This is the mother duck. We call the baby ducks ducklings. So we call the baby ducks ducklings. Mother duck, ducklings. What sound does a duck make? Quack, quack, quack. Yes. So quack says the mother duck. Quack, quack, quack. Say the ducklings. At the end of the day, the sun sets again. It is getting dark. The mother duck and her ducklings swim toward their nest. The little rubber duck floats along with them. Where is our little rubber duck? Can you point the little rubber duck using your finger? There goes our little rubber duck. So the little rubber duck floats along the ducklings and the mother duck mother duck good night says the moon where is the moon the moon is right here quack says the mother duck quack 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 say the ducklings and what did the little rubber duck say the little rubber duck said squeak where is our little rubber duck? Our little rubber duck is right there. And it says, squeak, squeak, squeak. Look, there's a special message for us. The little rubber duck says, press here. I wonder what's going to happen if we press that one. Are you ready? Okay, let's count one, two, three. And then Miss K will press the button. Are you ready? One, two, three. Three, press. <gasps> Whoa, did you hear that? Let's press it one more time. <gasps> it says, squeak, squeak, says the little rubber duck. It says, squeak, squeak, because it's not a true duck. It's just a little rubber duck. The end. And that's the story of the... 10 Little Rubber Ducks by Eric Carle The Very Lonely Firefly by Eric Carle Let's start! The Very Lonely Firefly by Eric Carle As the sun set, a little firefly was born. It stretched its wings and flew off into the darkening sky. Do you know how a firefly looks like? Can you spot where the firefly is? The firefly is right there. 
That's a firefly. A firefly looks like this. This is a firefly. Can you say it? Firefly. How about this? What is this? This is a sun. It's a sun. And the sun looks like this, right? Sun. Can you please say sun? Sun. It was a lonely firefly and it flashed its light searching for other fireflies. Oh, poor firefly. The firefly is lonely because the firefly is searching for other... Other what? It's searching for other fireflies. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a light bulb lighting up the night. Do you know how a light bulb looks like? This is a light bulb. A light bulb. Can you say it? Light bulb. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a candle flickering in the night. Where is the candle? Can you point it using your finger? That's the candle. This is a candle. Candle. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a flashlight shining in the night. The flashlight is right there. And the flashlight looks like this what is this this is a flashlight a flashlight the firefly saw a light and flew toward it but it was not another firefly it was a lantern glowing in the night where is the lantern the lantern is right there this is a lantern a lantern a lantern is glowing in the night. The firefly saw several lights and flew toward them. But they were not other fireflies. There was a dog. Woof, woof, woof. Grrr. And a cat. What's the sound of the cat? Meow, meow. And an owl. Their eyes reflecting the lights. Do you know the sound that the owl makes? The owl says, hoot, hoot, hoot. So, the eyes of the dog, cat, and owl are reflecting the lights just like this. Look at where the arrows are pointing. We call these eyes. These are the eyes. They're reflecting the lights. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a car's headlights flooding the night. This is a car and the car has a headlight. The headlight is right there and it shines so bright during nighttime. The fireflies saw many lights and flew toward them, but they were not other fireflies. What do you think are these? These are... Mm, let's read. They were fireworks sparkling and glittering and shimmering in the night. So these are what we call fireworks. Fireworks. Can you say it? Fireworks. When all was quiet, the firefly flew through the night, flashing its light, looking and searching again. So the firefly is still looking and searching for other fireflies through the through the night. This is nighttime because there's a moon right there. So we call this night. Then the very lonely firefly saw what it had been looking for. Do you still remember what the firefly is looking for? Let's find out. A group of fireflies flashing their lights. So here's our firefly and now there are a group of 
A group of fireflies. Now the firefly wasn't lonely anymore. The end. And that's the story of The Very Lonely Firefly by Eric Carle.